this not this not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you know what I'm thinking, see so I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. So Somebody gives a false narrative to the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, um, somebody asked me, what do I think about, I think it's AMC Bigham's statement that they're going to offer us a cash settlement to get out of the AMC play. And I'm going to tell you something. When you guys look at my videos and y'all leave comments, I try to read as much of the comments as I can. And if y'all want me to give my opinion on something, leave that comment, leave that in the comments rather, and I will read it. And then I will do a video giving you my thoughts on whatever questions you guys want answered or well, really not answered my opinion on it, because I'm not no expert on the stock market. I just look at the data. And I, I draw my own conclusions, which are which are my opinions, which are my opinions. But if you guys have any topics that y'all want me to discuss, leave some comments or send me an email and I will do a video giving y'all my assessment or my analysis of your question. OK, back to AMC Biggums. The, the market is supposed to work by supply and demand. Right. And and how can they give us a settlement that that makes absolutely no sense to me? They're going to start buying back the shares and everybody's going to sell at different prices, depending on their own DD. So how can they offer a settlement to four million individual investors? Does that make sense? You have some people that are not going to sell at $100. They're just not going to sell at $100. And you got some that are not going to sell at $500. Because everybody has different investment goals. So they can't come with one lump sum and ex expect everybody to acquiesce and accept it. Because everybody's investment portfolio is different. Everybody's investment goals is different. They're going to have to start buying back shares and investors are going to sell their shares at a price that works for them. They are not going to be able, in my opinion, to come with some lump sum settlement and expect four million different personalities to come together and agree to that price. It doesn't make logical sense to me. It, you can't even get 50 senators to agree. You're going to get... Four million retail investors all over the world to agree to a set price? I don't think so. I don't think so. Retail investors, there are too many of us, and there's too many of us with different investment goals. So there is no way, in my opinion, that you can have a settlement that four million people are going to agree to and accept. It just doesn't make logical sense to me anyway please leave some comments tell me what you think do you think it's logical that they can come with some lump sum offer and four million retail investors are going to come together and agree to it can't happen anyway have a great day god bless and i appreciate y'all on this journey with me